Lauren Shoshana with BYU Show here with Howard Ho at Cost of Living. My goodness, what are your first thoughts? It's amazing. I mean, obviously, I had like no expectations, and just coming out of it, so moving, so like quiet, but still like very powerful and like really draws you in. Yeah, definitely yeah. recommend. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, it's one of those plays that just allows the story to tell it. They don't. They don't need all these extra things. It's just powerful storytelling with really strong actors, really strong writing, strong directing, like. It is just, you can see why they won the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, I mean, just, so I, I sobbed. It's almost a good thing that we needed to wear masks in there. Also, that, that's the thing, they make you wear masks. Thank you, MTC, we appreciate that. Um, and my mask just completely um, <laughs> caught my tears. <laughs> so, so I covered opening night, uh, which was amazing, and then we just saw it here for the matinee, and there was a talk back um, which was such a fun surprise. Uh, what was that like for you? It was amazing. I mean, you know, we got to hear about the creation of the play. We got to hear about kind of like the different journey. Somebody asked about like characters and like what what happened after the play and like a what if. And I was like, yeah, I would I would see a sequel. You yeah, know? <laughs> a sequel. Yeah. Cost of living the sequel. Well, I just want to say, Martina getting the Pulitzer Prize, like, yes, you should. It was, like, from, so I, I don't know if you saw, I covered the media day, and then I covered opening night, and just seeing the, the development has been really cool, and then seeing it today, I'm just in awe. Like, this is storytelling. This is acting. This is... Uh, and, and it comes from a place of truth. The talkback was also really helpful because um, Greg talks about that Martina has this lived experience working um, when, when she was in college. And it was just, you know, and then I, I think that's really powerful. Something else um, that Katie Sullivan said on opening night was that it's about time that people are telling their own stories. And this play is full of people telling their own stories. Um, and I just, so I'll have the opening night report uh, next week. I will also publish this talk back. Uh, there are some like spoilers, I'm gonna say in like quotes, cause this play is just like, it's not like there are spoilers, but if you don't wanna know some more of the details and maybe see the show first and then watch it. Uh, do you have any final words and where can people find you on socials? Um, my final word is empathy. The show just is so empathetic. You just feel for these characters and just really want, you care about them, you know. Um, I'm Howard Ho. You can find me on Instagram at, at uh, Howard W. Ho. Uh, or you can find me on YouTube at Howard Ho Music or Twitter at Ho underscore Howard. Yeah, awesome. And, oh, I'm going to let the... I just, I just want to give a final, like, David Gregg. Katie and Kara Young, my goodness. Like, I, I've known Kara Young now for a little bit of time from the last production uh, when Kara was in Clyde and then here to Cost of Living. You are a star. And honestly, just like the four of them together, whether they're doing their own scene work or, or uniting, there's just this powerful chemistry of that you, you, you hope for in actors. You hope for it. And you can even see up here that it's, you know, these like two stories but it's told so beautifully together and I'm just so I am so impressed it's a limited run so you're gonna want to see it uh I'm B-Way Show that's B-W-A-Y-S-H-O thanks for chatting today all right yeah thanks for having me thanks for watching we'll see you at the show